So, it looks to me like the job from hell. It's a barbecue that hasn't been used for something like five years. It was down on Mike's property in Somerset. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Not a pretty sight. So before we renovate all the rest and bring it up and repair it, I better find out if it's working. So I stripped all the gubbins out of it. Over here, sorry, I'm working on other projects as well. As you can see, I think the steel is all okay, if I can remember which way to put it back together. And um, it's got a sparker system here, which probably won't be working. Let's put this light on for you. Have a good old look in there. That is in a bit of a state. It might not be salvageable, that's the thing. It might not be. And I would have brought it all the way back from Somerset on a wasted course. I have got the, uh, the coals out of the bottom. I think it's like pumice stone. So I think the first thing I can do here is put that this down there. Why brush these off? And then I imagine the jet comes out from the side there. Yeah, loads of little holes there. It could be working. I'll try and get what rust I can off of there. This, I think, down here somewhere is a tray. Yeah, that's for the ash. So that, that should clean off. It's got a sparker there. It's making a noise. If not, if I can get a gas flow through there. Looks like the pipe's all okay. Can always be places. I'll check if the perish. I'm going to clean it off first. It's got a regulator on there, so I think that's going to fix, fix one of my uh, butane bottles. And the knobs, I've seen there, yeah, they're still working. The, the valves, whether they work or not, remains to be seen. So, project, the project from hell. First thing, wire brush. They're just resting on it, but I can't see how to get them off. I think, I think there's a circlip underneath there. It's not. It's not a bowl or a washer. I think I'm going to try and get a screwdriver and see if that will pop off. And that enables enable me to take these out, which make life a whole lot easier. Well, I've decided to turn it upside down, folks. And that's what it looks like. Cobwebs and everything. Well, if I can't get those now, oh, there we go. There's pins here that if I can get those out, I should be able to remove these and just check the uh, vents up in here, up in there. Get that cleaned. I wonder why people leave these out and don't cover them over properly. I've been lucky if I get this going. But there's the uh, split pin that was holding it, and here you can see that put the light on it. I've got, oh, it's heavy. I've got this one out. Give it a brush off, and then I think I'm going to. Wire brush it and do the same with the others and then replace them. Put a little bit of WD-40 up here around the valve so it trickles down, they seem to be working. And uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I think the first thing I'm going to barbecue on this would be cobwebs, I should think. If it doesn't work, it's been an investment in time wasted. It's cast iron, look. Eh? Right, I'm going with the old bunny ears. Well, got the gas bottle fixed up. I always have trouble with these fittings. And uh, I've got the feeder plates back in. The sparkers don't appear to work, so I'm going to try it now 
and see if um, it's supposed to be a bit gassy. It's because I've had trouble fitting that. I'm going to use this. So I don't want to get my hands burnt. If uh, see. Oh. Oh, 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 I like it. Look at that, guys. At the present time, it appears to be working. I'm not sure about the old sparkers, how those leads don't melt. It's beyond me. Might even pull those out, to be honest, so I don't use them at all. They seem strange, those sparker units, so I think I'm going to move those. But it appears to be working. Got blue flames here. I shouldn't think it's mad. It's probably not been used a great deal. And then, of course, over here, I've got all the iron mongery to sort out there. The ashtray can go back in there as well. well the ashtray is not a non smoker for the leftover coals. And then I guess I'm going to tighten all the bolts up on this and uh, wash it off, let it dry, put some teak oil on it. It's got wheels, check the wheels, put some oil on the wheels. Basically, that's the work area. Well, that's all working. Appears to be. That has to melt. Who knows? I'm going to let this cool down and take those off. It might well do. I'm just going to move this. Bits of rust probably in there. That's a nice clean burn edge there. These holes might be a bit bigger, a little bit more white there. But it heats the coals up as well. Well, a lot of work and more to come, but it might actually get me a barbecue. If I can get these gloves on, why do they always make these gloves in women's sizes? I'm only a little popper corky guy, but I can't even get these. Ugh. Must stop your circulation, these things. Oh, I've found a little bit of teak oil here. Put some of this on. certainly brings the colour up as you can see and of course it should be done really yearly we won't see any of this because the uh, unit actually does rest on the top of this and I've got to re-bolt that see although this has been there years years I mean Mike's never used it the people hadn't used it for two years prior, so it's bad. It probably hasn't been clean for four years. I just hate throwing things away, people. I hate it. I could do all this and it won't cook, but I think it will. There's certain satisfaction in, in renovating something, bringing it back from the edge of destruction. Uh, of course, barbecues are one of those things that so many people tend to just leave outside all the time. And the weather will get to it. Eventually. Right, I'm going to crack on here. And we'll see if it all fits back together. Well, I've got uh, teak oil over all that. I think, to be honest, I'm going to take these sparkers and snip them. Too late. I can light it with the, uh, I'm just concerned that they're not really working. Well, I know they're not working. I can't light the fire with it. There we go, job done. In the bin. Okay, I've taken out the sparkers there. They weren't working. I can light it with a gas fire lighter. Get this lead out of the way and see if I can lift it. Lift this up the top. Oh. Come on, go. Come on, in you go. Now, where does this locate? That seemed too easy. That's better. One there. It locates, one assumes. Oh, I see holes underneath. Right, let's get this lined up. Forgot to take that. Actually, people's sticky hands would have touched that, so I think I'll sand that back a bit and then put some teak oil on it.
Right, so people, the teak is all done. All the teak's done there. After a filthy job of cleaning all the steel off of the grills, what I've been told you need to do is to get, this is a barbecue people told me this, get some cooking oil, paint some cooking oil over it, and then fire it up over all the bits of metal, and then it'll burn off, and then it'll leave a residual, I guess, fat grease oil, that's sunflower oil, uh, on the metal, and then I can put it away. Now, do I do that inside or outside? Well, let's paint it up first. Oh, I know what I'm missing. That's the ashtray. I've got to put, I've got to put that uh, coal holder because it has the volcanic stones there. So I'm going to put a little bit on here. Just give that some oil on that one. But who knows? This is just what I've been told. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I just go by what other people do. They tell me this is what they do with their barbecue before they put, before they put it away for the winter. That's what they do. Probably ruining my paintbrush, actually. Okay. That, they say we'll stop it rusting any further. So, I've now put in, I guess this is the volcanic stone cage, I'm calling it. That goes in there. The big, I guess, car steel grill. I don't think I need to do that, do I? I'm going to give it a rub over anyway. Just lightly. No, this doesn't go on, Graham. No, does it? It doesn't. You are correct. The coals go over, I think, next. It's so stupid, I don't know how I'm going to light this now. <laughs> then I'm guessing the grill goes on. Let's give it a coat of juice. Which I'm assuming has a drain plug just there for any surplus fat, I guess, to run off. Yeah, any tips on barbecuing? This is a gas one. I'll tell you why I'm trying to salvage that. Why am I trying to salvage it? Because I just haven't got the time to sit around waiting for charcoal to burn off for about an hour. Uh, you know, you, you want to do a barbecue, you want to have it fairly quick. If my wife says that the charcoal ones give it a better flavour, fine, I can live with that. But I'm just so busy just sitting around waiting for the coals to heat up, you sort of lost the plot. By which time, I've probably also had alcoholic refreshment and I'm too tired to, too tired to cook properly. Now I guess it's just a warming rack. I cleaned a lot of the rust off of there just for keeping stuff on. I don't know, cutlery, plates, who knows. It slots on through here. Go. Rest there. So, I am relatively happy with the way that's come up. Now, if it gets going, even better. Now, you can light them individually as well. There you go. All going well, going to be a bit a bit breezy outside here in the wind, but I feel once it gets hot, it's going to smell of cooking oil when it burns off. We'll see how, oh yeah, it smells, smells quite fancy a barbecue now. Right, let's close the lid. And we can always tell by that if that's even working. Well guys, it's definitely working, that's up to 200 at the moment. It started to bubble up on the top and those bubbles have just got gone back down. A little bit of rust there. I don't really want to put paint on it because it's not the right paint. So that is, oh, I've wet out some heat there. I'm going to turn these off now. And that is still going to stay hot. Unbelievable amount of heat. 
I'll just leave it with the lid on it. Gonna let that cool down. I'm really quite pleased with that, you know. How can you get people gonna throw that away? So, I could, like the other guy did, who owned it, not my son, Sonny, the person before him, I could uh, cover it over with one of those tarpy things and it rusts underneath. I'm gonna put that, I've made space in my potting shed and I'm gonna put it in there because that will keep it pristine condition. Together with the bottle, the sparker, I've got everything I need. All I need is summer weather. Placing up time, boys. I've even warmed the plate. We're going to get inside, grab a beer, and uh, finish off this lot. Thanks for watching this one. Don't forget, if you've got an old barbecue, why not have a go at renovating it?